Hey, good day, everybody. It's James, VA3JPX. And today on YouTube, I decided to put together a how-to video on how to use Ham Radio Deluxe on your HF rig remotely. So you can have a computer hooked up to your transceiver, and then you can use um, another computer anywhere in the house or even on the internet to uh, to connect to your uh, your transceiver remotely. And it's really simple to use. Ham Radio Deluxe is what I use. There's a few other solutions out there, but I like Ham Radio Deluxe. Now, this software used to be free. Um, however, in, in the last year or so, it's, uh, it's not free anymore if you want the latest version. So the version that I use is, uh, it's, it's a bit of an older version, uh, built, uh, back in 2012. And it's uh, version 5.1. There is a 5.2 build as well. Um, and if you uh, you want access to any of the older versions, just send me a private message, and I can certainly send you the links to those uh, downloads. Um, I use version uh, 5.1 build 3209. It works for me. Um, the feature sets that are included in the application itself are, are good enough for me. So that's what I'm going to uh, use to show you guys how to uh, set up the remote server. Now to set up the remote server, it's pretty simple to do. What you'll want to do is have your Ham Radio Deluxe launched. Make sure it's not connected to your radio at this time. You just want the program running. What you'll do is go to the Tools menu up at the top and then select Programs and then select Remote Servers. What you'll need to do at this point is click on HRD Remote Server Radio Support and then uh, you'll need to click on the Install button. And what that'll do is it'll install the remote server service that runs in Windows. It's uh, a service that runs when Windows starts. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is click the Configure button. What this will do is it'll launch an actual text file that contains the settings for your server. I just went with the defaults. Um, so going down through the list, we want port number 7805. And then these are the user accounts. So for me, it would be James, comma, the password you'll use to connect. And then any particular permissions that you want to grant this person. For me, I, I have full access so I can transmit, I can restart the service remotely if I need to. So for an example, if I try to connect to it from another computer and it isn't working, I can start and restart, sorry, I can stop and restart the service without any problems. And I can do that remotely without having to be in front of the computer that's running the remote server. Um, so once you, you, you set the uh, user, or users with uh, specific permissions, then you can go down and set your welcome uh, information. So for an example, I was um, uh, talking with VE3XIU a few days ago about how, you know, having this all set up and I gave him a custom welcome message. So when he connects remotely from his house to my HF transceiver, he'll get a, a message that says, welcome VE3XIU, please don't break anything. Okay, so once you're done with this, you just exit out, save any changes, and then click the start button for your service. Now your service is running in the background on this uh, server. What you'll want to do at this point is exit out of Ham Radio Deluxe. Okay, if Ham Radio Deluxe is running on the server that is connected to your transceiver, you will not be able to connect to the transceiver remotely the software has to be shut down. So that's it for the server side of it. Let's take a brief uh, break and we'll configure the client side. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that intermission. I sure did. All right, moving along, we're going to configure the Ham Radio Deluxe client to connect to the uh, Ham Radio Deluxe server that we just configured. So once you have Ham Radio Deluxe installed, uh, what you'll want to do is launch it. 
Um, now, on the top left, you'll have a button that says Connect. So you'll click on that. And because you haven't set any profiles yet, the first window you'll see will be this. It'll ask you to choose a company, a model number of your radio or the transceiver. So you'll, you'll choose that. If uh, your company or transceiver model is not listed, then I don't think you're going to have any luck getting this configured, but you never know. Maybe you can try using a similar radio. For an example, instead of an FT950, you might want to try, I don't know, the 2000 maybe, or a 450, FT450 maybe, I don't know. Uh, for COM port, you're going to set it as remote. The speed is going to be 38400, and you'll put in RTS as the flow control uh, for your connection. Uh, you'll have a save button. Mine is already programmed here and set up, so I don't have that. So once it's saved, when you launch HRD and you hit connect, you'll be brought to this screen. It'll show you your profile. So you'll highlight it, click connect. And then it'll bring you to a list of um, remote connection profiles that you have already pre-configured. Because this is your first time, you're not going to have anything listed. So what you'll do is you'll put the IP address or machine name of the computer that's running the Ham Radio Deluxe server that your transceiver is connected to. The port number by default is 7805. Again, you can configure this to something completely suitable for your own network. It's up to you. I just go with the defaults. You'll set the username that we've configured in the server uh, configuration text file and the password. Once you have that, you'll hit save and then it'll be an available profile the next time that you uh, launch the remote connection. Hit connect. Welcome V3XIU. Please don't break anything. I know. Blame Sean on everything. V3XIU. Shame on him. Just joking. That's the welcome banner that we talked about earlier. Click OK. Then what you'll do is you're going to click OK down here, but I want to just show you one thing. If it automatically configures the optional PTT to COM1, take that check mark off because if it's on, it's going to give you an error when you click on OK down here. So let's click OK and see what happens. It's connecting. There we go. This is my Ham Radio Deluxe for my FT950. So let me turn up the volume. So there is a 7.255. I was listening to uh, eCars a little while ago. Now this is my customized um, Ham Radio Deluxe template. Yours probably looks different. But um, basically, it'll work just like it normally does if you're running Ham Radio Deluxe at the computer that's connected to the radio. Nothing really changes. So let's go to uh, 14300. Oops. Upper side band. 300. And the Maritime Mobile service net is on right now. So there you go. That's pretty much how you connect to the uh, transceiver remotely. Now I'm on the local area network. For you, you might want to do it remotely. You might want to uh, do it uh, outside of your home, maybe from work, maybe somewhere else around the world. It's just simply a matter of configuring your uh, modem or your router to port forward that 1705 port. You'll want to use protocols UDP and TCP and just forward them to the IP address that's, uh, you know, hosting the, the transceiver. Um, you might want to lock it down by IP range just to keep the bad guys out, and you're good to go. Now, the only other thing with this is that you won't receive any audio on the remote PC that you're connecting from. Uh, if you want to hear what's going on on your transceiver, you'll need to install Skype. Um, an audio interface that will uh, take the audio from the accessory port out of your radio or maybe even the headphones or whatever and then pipe that through Skype so that you can hear 
uh, what's going on on the uh, on the transceiver. If you also want to transmit, that's a little bit more complicated. I won't get into it in this tutorial, maybe in the future, but hopefully this video will get you up and running. And worst case scenario, you could be at the other end of the shack and you don't have to get up to change frequencies. You can just simply click here, 070, and listen to what's going on on PSK31. How cool is that? Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to list them in the comments section below. If you have any uh, other further uh, detailed inquiries, send me a private message on YouTube, and I'll be glad to respond. Have yourself a great day. Take care. Keep on rocking.